This is Larry Connors USA. Larry Connors USA. Welcome back. My guest uh, has several different ways we can look at the Middle East. And let me begin by telling you this is a, a pastor, Pastor Mark Biltz. He's also a best selling author. Latest book, America at War, 2024 through 2026. The Sons of Light versus the Sons of Darkness. And glad to have you on board, sir. Well, thank you so much, Larry. I really appreciate you having me on. Well, I was looking forward to this, and there are a lot of things I want to go through with you. And let me add to the audience that you are the Washington State Director of Christians United for Israel. Now, yeah, go, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Tell me, tell me what well, that is say, exactly. Yes, I, I was for about eight years, but I just stepped down. Oh, okay. I did not see that. Thank you. And what exactly yeah. is Christians United for Israel? I could assume, but I'd rather you tell me. Well, John Hagee started that. And basically, it's trying to get pastors and people all the United States to support Israel. All right. Sounds like a good idea. I had uh, uh, a re- Jewish member who had become Christian at uh, our church, and I know several others who have as well. And we, the Christian religion is, of course, built upon the Jewish heritage and religion, the Old Testament. It's just a matter of uh, was Jesus actually a man? Did he walk the earth? And then, of course, everything that goes with it and the resurrection. But I want to, before I get into some of the details, I, I want from you as to your view on how we're dealing with Israel, Gaza, and everything else right now, I need to bring up for the audience because they may know you by this way as well. Uh, you began writing about something called the Blood Moon in 2008, and you're also known as a Blood Moon's pastor, or the Blood Moon Bilts. It's not Blitz, but Bilts. And you, and <laughs> exactly. you, yeah, and you have theories that correlate solar and lunar eclipses with biblical prophecy. I'd like to spend a few moments on that, sir. Man, I would love to. Thank you so much. Because what had happened back in 2008, I saw that there were four total lunar eclipses in a row coming up in 2014, 2015. And I I use math, science, the Bible, and that's all I stick to. And if you look at statistics, NASA records 5,000 years of eclipses, okay? And of those 5,000 years from 2000 BC to 3000 AD, there have been about 12,000 lunar eclipses. Before we go uh, far, before we go in deeper, yeah. how, would, how would they be able to record those that far back? NASA what didn't even exist. This nation didn't exist. It's math. It's all math so and it's, science. It's, it's they based, can it's based when on, they're going to happen a thousand years from now. All right, so, so it's a, a predication based on estimation. Yeah, yeah. It's, I want to make amazing. that clear. It's not an actual yeah. fact. It's based upon assumption. Uh, well, based on mathematical patterns, I would say. Okay. But what's amazing about that, there's, you only get one total lunar eclipse every year and a half based on the averages of 5,000 years. If you only get one every year and a half, and here we have four in a year and a half, that tells me something is going on. In Genesis 1.14, God said he created the sun and the moon for signs. It doesn't say light or heat. It says signs, which means an eclipse. So when I looked that these four, when they were falling, then I looked on the biblical calendar. They fell on Passover and Sukkot, or tabernacles, Passover and Sukkot. And I thought, oh my goodness, this is a sign from heaven because they're falling on the appointed time. So I looked to see when the last time it was that it happened, and it was in 67, 68 when they recaptured Jerusalem. The time before that was 48, 49 when they became a nation. The time before that was 1492 when hell got kicked out of space. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, and I didn't know what its meaning was, but I wrote my book showing the scientific pattern and that everybody was writing books about it. Uh, and some things, they say nothing happened in 24, 2015, but I tell you what, I now know exactly the meaning, which is mind-blowing. Uh, I'll have to <clears throat> take a moment because your listeners may, bo- may not be familiar with this. But on Yom Kippur is the only day you can proclaim a year of Jubilee, which is a 50-year time frame. Well, guess what? The Yom Kippur War started on Yom Kippur in 1973, which was the very first day of the Jubilee cycle. And then in 50 years later is 2023, and the Iron Swords War happened on the very last day of the Jubilee cycle. 
And so the 2014-2015 Blood Moons was warning of a war coming seven years later. And the 1967-68 war was also a sign of the war happening on the first day of the Jubilee. All right, well, let me ask you, this, for some folks, first of all, those who are not familiar with the Bible, and if you're not Jewish, you may not be that familiar with Passover. If you're Christian, you should. Uh, yes, the... It, it, the entire that night of the Passover that the Lord was passing over, and if you did not mark your door with a yeah. lamb's blood, then you, the inhabitants would die and the children and so forth. And it was apparently a dark. And we've had reports like even on Jesus on the cross when the curtain was ripped and he died and and uh, the uh, massive darkness fell upon the face of the earth. So I think at that time maybe they weren't aware of eclipses and how they figured. I'm not sure. But the other thing that comes into this, when someone listens to this, and puts a more critical eye to it. They're saying, you know, it's like reading your horoscope today, and then you're looking for something the rest of the day that's going to verify it. Or you read it at the end of the day, and you look back and say, well, how, how would that have fit if I tried to put the pieces together? How many could say and make that complaint against you? you got no problem at all. There's a huge difference between astrology and biblical astronomy. Astrology means it's all about you. Astronomy means, or biblical astronomy means it's all about God where it says in Psalms 19, the heavens are declaring the glory of God. And in Genesis 1.14, he created the sun and the moon for a sign. I want absolutely nothing to do with astrology, but uh, God said he created the sun and the moon for signs, and the heavens declare him, so you, we have to have the proper perspective. As a matter of fact, when it comes to solar eclipses, since we became a nation in 1776, we have only had eight total solar eclipses over the United States. And they happened during the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, the Vietnam War, and now we have them coming April 8th with the Great American Eclipse. All right. Well, I mean, you can't dispute the dates they happen. It's just a matter of uh, coincidence or preordained or exactly. are fitting with the Bible. And I'm, I'm in the may, maybe fourth or fifth reading all the way through them. Just finished Job again back in the Psalms. There's some beautiful poet, poetic writing, but... Let's look at the current situation here with the Middle East. Qatar is playing a role, supposedly, in helping negotiate and bring an end to the war and maybe free the prisoners. Do you consider Qatar being an honest broker? Absolutely not. They're one of the worst brokers. They support Hamas. Do you know they've given... Oh, billions of dollars to Cornell University, billions of dollars to a dozen universities, and it's at those universities where they're protesting the worst, all being pro-Palestinian. Uh, no, Qatar is one of the worst brokers. Uh, they're totally pro-Hamas, and I don't trust them at all. Is a two-state solution possible for Israel? I mean, we've been Absolutely close a couple not. times. You say no way. Why, because it's of the, the inherent hate or what? Yes, it's, it's because, you know, Amalek, uh, yes. the, which is like Haman, but did you know the very word Amalek in Hebrew means head choppers? They chop up people who chop up body parts. And that's exactly what happened. And in Genesis, God said he's going to destroy the world because of violence. And the Hebrew word for violence is Hamas. Uh, and even the Palestinians come from the word Philistines, which means invaders. Uh, but as, as far as the two-state solution goes, in Joel 3-2, God said he's going to come against every nation that's trying to part his land. And in Zechariah 1, 18, there are four horns that God said he's going to terrorize these four horns because they're trying to divide the land of Israel. Well, I believe those four horns are the quartet that started at the Madrid conference. 2002. It's the EU, the UN, uh, the US, and Russia. Uh, but it plainly, if you follow the Bible, you'll see that terrorism is going to be coming big time. Yeah, well, that, that around we, the world that that we all fear. Now, uh, a couple other things along this line. And again, you're listening to the pastor Mark Biltz, author of the book America at War 2024, 2026, and others. You're suggesting, I understand that. Donald Trump says our immigration problem is a Trojan horse. What are the true implications of our open borders? Because we were discussing that extensively before you joined us. 
Wow, okay, well, great. Well, I, I think in one sense, Trump is wrong that it's a Trojan horse because they're not hiding trying no, to get him No, they're not hiding, you're we're, right. <laughs> we're not welcoming him in. Yeah. We're paying them. Yes. We're giving him free money. We're yeah. giving him medical insurance. It's the most insane thing in the world. So will that lead yeah, to a terrorist money. attack on the U.S. soil? Or are you looking at the Bible yeah. for an answer on that? I, I tell you what, I believe, without a doubt, we're going to see terrorist attacks in the homeland this year. People will be blowing themselves up in grocery stores, at gas stations, on bridges. But see, along with that, Larry, I, I, we're going to be having civil war. Yeah, now there's where I was headed next. I was asked this question. We've only got about a minute to go. Maybe a, maybe a, a couple of three years ago, I had a caller when I was taking the call and said, do you think we're going to have a civil war? And I said, no, we're not going to have a civil war. Well, I have to admit, things have gotten shaky now that uh, there is a concern. Well, you're going to have the political war this uh, fall with the elections between the left and the right. You're also going to have a religious war between those who are pro-Israel and pro-Palestinian. You're also going to have racial wars between the white supremacists and the Black Lives Matter. We're right for war, and that's when you get attacked. Well, one final thing from you in the last 30 seconds on the Great American Eclipse. What should it be considered? Well, the Great American Eclipse, I believe, is a sign from God because it intersects the one seven years ago in a place called Little Egypt. And it happened on the very same day as the three days of darkness in the original plague and began. That, and that's April what? Eight? Eighth. Eight. April eighth. Well you know we're gonna have you back before right before and then after that as well. I'd love it. All right, I appreciate it again. Pastor Mark Biltz, again his book is America at the at War, twenty twenty four, twenty twenty six. That is just the latest. <laughs> 